With Bungie finally announcing the next world's first raid date being August 26th, a lot of people are going to go ahead and start getting into that prep mindset, including myself. And I figured since, you know, we do have a, a pretty good week ahead of us next week in Destiny 2 with things like double nightfall rewards, and with it being Inverted Spire, which is one of the easiest nightfalls in the game, a lot of people are going to be using next week to go ahead and do some prepping. Maybe you need to do some bounty prep, stock up on some Ascendant Shards, some in-game resources, get your exotic catalysts and check or finished, and of course, trying to hunt down some pretty good god roll weapons. Which brings me to my next point along with the double knife for rewards next week the deep stone crypt raid is going to be the pinnacle raid of the week obviously this means that all of the challenges for the raid will be up and you'll be able to infinitely farm any encounter you want inside of the raid which brings me to my next point being the primary encounter to go about farming next week inside of this raid in particular it's gonna have to be the second one the first boss good old atrax now the reason why i am mentioning atrax is because his loot pool does contain two pretty solid pve weapons both going in the kinetic slot and i am of course referring to the heritage slug shotgun and the succession sniper rifle both of these have access to the deep stone crypt only perk that being reconstruction think of reconstruction as a better slower auto loading holster when stowed a weapon with reconstruction is going to slowly reload over time and even going over the usual mag size unfortunately the heritage does not roll any sort of flat damage perk like vorpal but it's still a good slug shotgun to have on hand on deck on duty ready to go and the succession being the only sniper that can roll reconstruction of vorpal weapon easily makes it still a top tier sniper rifle to have on you even almost two years later that being said some people might get turned off a little bit from having to farm a raid encounter however i will say that a Atrax is probably the most free three-man raid encounter there is. You can very consistently down this boss in one phase. The team loadout that we use for this is having two Curasis Thunder Crash Titans, then having a Well of Warlock with Radiant Light along with one of the Titans wearing powerful friends to give you guys charge with light and proc your high energy fire bonus because the main weapon we're going to use is going to be a fully proc parasite. And basically the way the strat goes is everybody stays on the bottom floor, wait for all the servitors to spawn, kill all the servitors, then everybody goes up to the top room. You don't even need to worry about the operator because with this strategy you're literally just going to down a tracks in one go once everybody gets up top make sure obviously you go ahead and get the scanner buff and just get in position before firing your parasite make sure that your well warlock does drop their well also make sure it's a little bit further away from a track so you don't actually start your little burst damage phase that you have it's kind of important that you don't do that once everybody's in the well give it a good old-fashioned countdown shoot your parasites and then titans immediately go into their thundercrest as soon as they fire off their parasite and that'll be enough damage to send a tracks in a final stand then just hot swap to lament and then three laments will easily be enough to take care of atrax in his final stand and pretty fast and efficient three-man farm and it's a raid encounter so if you need a good kinetic slug shotgun or a good kinetic sniper rifle next week is totally the week to do it also if you don't have an atrax checkpoint the first encounter of deep stone crypt crypt security can be a pretty easy smooth three-man as long as you got xenophage or bastion so if you and your buddies are just that build different you can three-man the first encounter get your atrax checkpoint on one of your alternate characters and just farm atrax all all week long bro also hothead is the nightfall weapon next week if you don't have a good arc rocket launcher for arc 3.0